see that? That blinding wall of light behind me? I know what you're thinking. I've got my exposure cranked way up. Too high. Gain's all wrong. Maybe I'm filming in a west-facing room in the middle of the afternoon. And that's really irresponsible, but on all counts, you'd be completely and categorically wrong. Just outside my window there, in the city of Baltimore, the future has arrived. And the future is bright. Specifically talking about the future of the uh, Enoch Pratt Free Library, Baltimore Photo Book Club Meetup, which is uh, a little thing that we do here once a month. Last night was our, yeah, I think it was just about our two-year anniversary, somewhere close to that, since we've started doing this. And uh, man, what a turnout it was. What an event it was. Uh, and I told you that this wasn't going to be a daily thing. I wasn't going to get on here and talk to you every single day because I frankly, I don't have the time or the resources or the uh, stock music to keep up with that. So uh, this is a one-off. This is an exception. I'm not going to do this every day. Don't get used to it. But uh, the, the, the book club was the idea of uh, a very good friend of mine, Patrick Joust, who I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with if you're watching this video. A very prolific, incredibly talented photographer. His work's on Instagram. It's been published. It's been uh, used in the opening credits of... Uh, we own this city. You, you've seen his work. Um, he is a great photographer and a really good friend. And as it turns out, he's a fine arts librarian at the Pratt Library. And so about two years ago, he, he got a bunch of us people that are into photo books together. And he said, hey, look, the library uh, gets a shipment of new books in. Why don't we meet up last Thursday of the month and sit down and take a look at what the, what the Pratt has got? And if you have your own books in your collection that you'd like to bring that you think other people might be interested in seeing, uh, bring them along. Let's let's uh, let's talk about books. So it started out with about eight of us and uh, has grown to, as of last night, uh, 53, a big old five, three, 53 attendees last night. And it was such a great turnout that I wanted to take the next couple minutes, but no more than 10 minutes. Uh, talking about not only why this is a good event and why I think it's good for photographers and, and people interested in the arts to attend things like this or, or even to explore setting up things like this. Uh, but I also just want to show you, you know, through pictures, what a great time we had. And so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to set a little slideshow going here and uh, you can follow along. And I'll try to tell you exactly what went down and again, why I think it's important. So uh, what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna name everybody because I have the memory of a, uh, of a sieve and I, I forget names and I don't, wanna, I don't wanna mix anyone up. But the idea of book club is you come in and you look at what other people are, are reading and you share ideas and takeaways and you learn a little bit about their vision and uh, you you get to do it not necessarily through their work, but through somebody else's work. And it's it's great to sit down and look at a book like uh, Peggy Nolan's uh, Juggling is Easy and see those kind of pictures. And maybe it's not something that you yourself would normally photograph, but to see someone else passionate about it and talking about it, you learn to appreciate um, maybe what they see in it. Maybe you get to establish a new appreciation for the, the art form. Uh, maybe you discover a new photographer that you didn't even know existed. There's Patrick there talking to Joshua Levy. And in the background is Daniel Ag and Blake Lyle. Said I wasn't going to name names, but we had some big ones show up last night. And uh, it's really cool because you get this mix of people who are very interdisciplinary. In the last slide, you saw Joe Giordano, who is a you know renowned Baltimore photojournalist, talking to Paul Taylor, who uh, you know is a city government employee that documents events happening in the city, and they're talking to a community college of Baltimore County college student, photography student, uh, because Saskia Khan, here I go naming names, because their teacher, Saskia, brought them out 
to sit down and look at these. So we had about 12 to 13 uh, college kids join us last night and look at photo books, many of them for the very first time. And what's great about that is I think when you're in an environment where people are passionate about what they're doing, that passion is contagious and it, it really, you know, gets in your heart. And I can't help but walk away from these events feeling more energized, not only to get out and make work, but to feel more energized about what the artists in the city are doing and what the photographers in the city are doing and to make new connections with people. Like here's Brandon Holland, who is a large format photographer, uh, just sharing his vision and what he sees when he's out. And this is a great one. Alec uh, brought his own photo book that he was making. Uh, you know, it was a dummy of a book that he had put together and he's sharing it with folks that, you know, maybe for many of them, that's the first time ever seeing somebody else's work that they had done here in this city in book form and realizing maybe that's something they can do too. And so it really opens doors and it gets those creative uh, juices flowing. And I hate that phrase. That's a terrible phrase. We should never say that phrase. But it does get you thinking and it gets the gears turning on what's possible. And there's Blake sitting in the lobby of the incredibly lovely Enoch Pratt Library downtown. And so I say all that and I take you on this little journey to encourage you to find that community. I think way too often we get hung up on the internet, Instagram, threads, whatever, being the only way that we can discover and uh, share work and communicate with one another. And for the large part, that's true. There's, there's really not a, uh, a reality where I'm going to be able to meet up with photographers in Dearborn or, or in Syracuse very frequently. And the internet is a great way to do that. But we ignore how great the arts communities are in our surrounding areas. Maybe if the arts communities in our local areas aren't that great, then there's an opportunity there for you to get involved and to start finding like-minded people and bring them together uh, in small numbers at first. Maybe it's only gonna be three or four people that get together and nerd out with you about a, uh, a Mayorowitz book. But that passion is contagious. And I think the more that you get people together and you talk about it and you share that passion and you invite people in, that's only going to grow. So I'm super proud. I'm super excited. We had 53 people come out. And I don't know if the library can necessarily handle much more than that. But infinite growth isn't the goal. The goal is to be passionate and to share that passion. Because when the photographers that come after us come up, the legacy that we want to leave for them is one of love for the art an obsession with work. And I mean, creating real, honest, good work, and then building fellowship around that shared interest. So I'm going to leave you with that. It's eight minutes, 30 seconds. I don't want to do a plank for 30 seconds or 45 seconds because that sucks. So I'm going to end it here. And I'm just going to say, if you need help or if you need advice or if you're interested in doing something like this, let me know. I'd be more than happy to get you in touch with Patrick or, or I can walk you through my experience as a co-host setting something like this up. And if you're in Baltimore or if you're in the surrounding area and you want to join us, our next photo book club meetup is going to be March 28th. That's a Thursday from 530 to 730 p.m. in the Enoch Pratt Free Library on 400 Cathedral Street. I'll put that information down in the show notes, but uh, it's been great sharing this with you. For everyone that came out last night, thank you, and uh, I'll see you again in a month at book club, but you definitely won't see me tomorrow on this YouTube. That's not going to happen. Don't get used to it. All right, I'm done. Bye-bye. <laughs>